If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. We are actually going to be swatching the new Max Skirt Plumping Lip Glosses. These are, I guess, a remake of their original plumping glosses. They launched this three times and they sold out all the times they launched it so they decided to bring it back permanently so i have oh i gave away three of these to my sister but before we jump into it all the products i will be using today will be tagged right here so definitely click that view products tag or i'm gonna tag it down below in the description box just in case the tag doesn't work for you let's go ahead and jump into these swatches okay so on the mac website they have 10 of these glosses and they all come in different colors yes the gloss in the tube actually mimics the color of the container so let's go ahead and get started since these are glosses it's gonna wipe out very easily first shade is called jet and when i only put it in the middle of my lips you can tell that jet looks black however when you blend it in i feel like it makes my lips look like i have filter over my lips this is what it looks like i really like it, it looks so good by itself and over a different lip or a lip liner because it's plumping i feel like it has like a minty type of feel on the lips it's not itching like the Too Faced plumping gloss and it's not burning like the fancy plumping gloss the whole time I haven't even looked at the clear one this is the clear one and yes it looks white in the container but on the lips it doesn't even have a hint of white to it it's in a stick form but it swatches like a gloss I don't think I would have been happy if it had a hint of white in it because I feel like it would look weird especially on my lips like it would look it would look like I was foaming at the lips <laughs> <laughs> if it had a hint of white. But we're happy it does it. Okay, next we're gonna go in with Amped. And yes, Amped has a neon pink shade to it. It has a uh, you can see it, right? It's like a slight pinkish shade on the lips as well. You see that? But once you blend it in, it just gives your lips like a light hint of color. And I really like it. Amped is gonna be that girl. I put the orange one over a lip combo that I did. Oh my God, it was absolutely gorgeous. So I wanna swatch it by itself so we can see what it looks like. And also because my blush today is very orange, I feel like it complements everything very nicely. It also adds like a nice tone to my lips. Like I'm here for it. Next, we have Violet Beta. Okay. When you first start using it, the top part of it just does this. And I think it's just the film that keeps it together so it doesn't just melt out of the container. You just wipe it off and keep pushing, okay? It happened on all of them when I first started swatching them. Oh my God, this is really nice. I really also like the hint of Violet in there. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so this is lower cut and lower cut is really nice. Nice brown shade to it. It's like a nude gloss for me. It looks really nice. I like what it looks like for sure. Almost unnoticeable. I actually had this on my lips the whole time I was filming today and it stayed in place. Last but not least for today, we have the shade like squirt and this is the lime green one and yes it's lime green in there too this is what it looks like you can tell it has like a slight hint of green okay and this is what it looks like really really cute definitely loving the green hints that it has to it one thing that i will tell you about these glosses are if you push it all the way out you cannot push it back in so for me i suggest you only push it out a little bit at a time like it, it shouldn't even go past the tip of this because if it does it's gonna break off just like twist it a little bit it shouldn't come out of the container and just apply it if you push it out of the container you cannot push it back in or you can't twist it back in so do not twist it all the way out and that's why i don't want to show you how much is in here because if i twist it i can't twist it back in no ma'am i'm gonna apply a lip liner over my lips so we can see what like squirt looks like over a nice gorgeous dark lip liner i'm gonna go in with the dose of colors knock on wood this is what this lip combo looks like let me show you what it looks like with a little bit of like squirt over it i'm doing like squirt so that i can pick up on the green on my eyeshadow this is what it looks like with like squirt over it i love a hint of green that you don't see it's like you almost kind of see it but you almost kind of don't 
that's what makes it so good like i really like these okay i definitely have my choice of glosses to put over lip combos now to just give me a hint of whatever color it is that i'm looking for without it being overwhelming at all okay so that is it for me showing you guys the mac squirt plumping glosses let me know down below in the comments if you've tried these and let me know if this video helped you decide on whether or not you should pick them up thank you guys so much for watching love you lots and i'll see you in my next video bye